And the PS4 reviews keep on coming. Infamous Second Son is a very anticipated game for quite a bit of gamers. I was very much looking forward to playing this game on a next-gen system, and I gotta tell you, I am endlessly impressed with this game. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Infamous games, the first two featured a different protagonist. In this game, it's a guy named Delson. He's kind of a punk kid. He likes to do graffiti. He's part of this tribe, a very, very close-knit tribe of people who really care about their family. And when he has an encounter with a conduit who spreads his powers to him, he suddenly has all these smoke abilities. He can shoot fire from his hands. He can hover. He can dash extremely fast, and he doesn't know what's going on. And one of the greatest things about this game is the feel of the character and the evolution of how he perceives his world and how excited he gets about what he is now experiencing. Because he's like, oh my gosh, I'm a superhero. And you really feel that as you control this character. There's this huge evil thing called the DUP that wants to take out all of these people that they refer to as bioterrorists. Now these are these people who have these abilities to harness this type of energy and unleash it. And there's a large amount of prejudice against these people. It's sort of like X-Men, where a lot of people are upset about the mutant thing and they want to rid the world of them. So the DUP is going around trying to do that. They're enslaving people, they're torturing people, and as Delson, you have to stop them. This game was incredible. It's an open world game in which you can go across Seattle and do basically anything. If you see a drug deal going down, you can stop it. If you see a DUP armored car going around, you can take it out. There are endless amounts of things to do, and I can tell you this is a very rare game for me it's one of the very few games where when I beat the actual game you know like I beat the final story there are so many things to do that I sat there for a couple more days doing all of these things now that's rare for me usually when I beat a game I don't worry about doing all the various unlockables but this game was so fun to play to take control of this character who is vastly likable as a person voiced by Troy Baker from The Last of Us he has voices in everything nowadays but he's very good and I wanted to continue to go around the city and do as much as I can because basically what you can do is you can go around the entire city of Seattle and 100% eliminate all DUP forces from the city. And that is so much fun to do even after you beat the main story. See what's starting to make games so much more of an art form than they used to be is the fact that characters are so important now because everything is so lifelike with the way it looks and the voice acting is so top notch for really good games like this nowadays that it's actually starting to be extremely important to have likable characters and a story that really matters. It's not just fun gameplay anymore, which this game definitely has. This game feels like a cinematic experience now. Also something I really liked about this game was that it wasn't mind-blowingly difficult. I never had to look up a walkthrough, I never had to look at tips or anything, because I hate looking up walkthroughs. I like to be able to beat a game on my own. And this game is a game that is challenging, but it's not too difficult to the point where you are punching your bed or your couch or whatever you're sitting on. One of the coolest relationships in the game was between Delson and his brother, who's a cop named Reggie. You get to contact him through your cell phone as you run around the city and watching their relationship grow and his view of conduits or bioterrorists change, watching him experience change as his brother dealt with these problems was really fun. But it's so great that the gameplay seems flawless. You can jump around anything. This guy's like a parkour master. Flying around, running around at the speed of light, it's all so much fun to play this game. There's one moment in the game where you have to scale the Space Needle in Seattle, and when you're hanging from the top of it and seeing the city below you and the incredible amount of detail that went into the graphics, my mind was blown. I really recommend checking out this game. If you do have a next-gen system, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. My only issues with the game are that it does have repetitive aspects to it, where it doesn't feel as if it's terribly original. It's just that everything they're doing is so well made and constructed that even though it does feel a little repetitive from time to time as you are doing various missions, you can't help but enjoy it. But as always, guys, if you have played this game, let me know what you thought of it. If you played the previous two, let me know what you thought of it. I'm very happy with Next Gen so far. I'm really enjoying it. Let me know what you think below. And as always, guys, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>